After tapping the continue button, the GeoSeeker initiates a short test to check if the measurement can be processed successfully. If so, it starts measuring. After measuring the first scan point in a depth of 5 meters, you see the results on screen. Now you have to adjust the electrodes according to the updated information on your screen again. As you can read, you must increase the distance of the power electrodes, indicated by letter A. You have to move the electrodes to cable marker 2. After moving the electrodes, push the continue button to start another test and measuring process at 10 meters depth. Now you notice that you have to move the power electrodes to cable marker 3, which you will find after unrolling the power cable drum 15 meters in total. So let's replace the electrodes to cable marker 3 now. Push the continue button again to start another test and measuring process at 15 meters depth. Now you finished measuring the first scan point and you have to move all electrodes together with your equipment to the next scan point. Push the continue button to measure scan point 2 in a depth of 15 meters. Move the power electrodes inwards to cable marker 2. Push the continue button to measure scan point 2 in a depth of 10 meters. Move the power electrodes inwards to cable marker 1. Push the continue button to measure scan point 2 in a depth of 5 meters. As indicated on screen, you now have to move everything to the next, the third scan point. You may realize that the whole procedure is repeated over and over again, until the complete scan field has been processed. So let's move your equipment to the next scan point. As soon as everything is in place, push the continue button to start another scanning pass. Again you have to move the power electrodes outwards to cable marker 2. After starting the measurement by pushing the continue button, you have to move the power electrodes to cable marker 3. After preparing the next scan, push the continue button. But this time GeoSeeker will only do a check, but no measuring. So what happened? Let's have a look at the screen instructions. You see that you should move the voltage electrodes, indicated by letter B, to cable marker 7. This could happen because the measured voltage between the electrodes is too inaccurate and by changing its distance, the reading can be optimized. So let's move the voltage electrodes to cable marker 7. Now try to start the measurement again by tapping continue. This time the process of measurement was fine and you can move all electrodes to the next scan point. Push continue to start a new scanning pass. As you will notice, you have to decrease the distance of the power electrodes by placing it to cable marker 2. Every time you are changing the distance between the power electrodes, you are also changing the current measurement depth. So while increasing the distance, you are also increasing the depth, and vice versa. So by decreasing the distance of the power electrodes, you are reducing the depth now. The current scan depth is indicated by letter D. Right now, you are going to scan in a depth of 10 meters. Push continue to start a new scanning pass. Again you must reduce the distance of the power electrodes to measure now in a depth of 5 meters. Push continue to start a new scanning pass. Also this time you noticed that there was only a check but no measuring. But this time you should reduce the distance of the voltage electrodes and move it back to cable marker 2 as indicated by letter B. After testing the electrodes configuration, GeoSeeker determined 
that you must readjust the voltage electrodes to measure more accurate values. So let's replace the voltage electrodes as indicated. Then push continue to try again. This time everything went well and you can move all electrodes to the next scan point. Push the continue button again and wait for the completion of the scanning path. As indicated, move the power electrodes to cable marker 2 and start a new scanning path. Again you have to change the distance of your power electrodes and move it to cable marker 3. Continue your measurement. And obviously there are some more adjustments necessary. You need to increase the distance of the voltage electrodes once more. Move it to cable marker 7 as indicated by letter B. So replace the voltage electrodes and try again. This time the process was finished successfully and you can move all electrodes to the next scan point. Push continue to start a new scanning path. Readjust your electrodes for the next scanning path as indicated and push the continue button once more. You can easily see that you must replace your voltage electrodes one more time. Now to cable marker 4. So let's do it. Push continue to start a new scanning path. Now the measuring process succeeded and you need to move the power electrodes to cable marker 1. Continue scanning by pushing the button. Once more you have to adjust the voltage electrodes by moving it to cable marker 2. Continue scanning by pushing the button. This time measuring went well and you can move all electrodes to the next scan point. Let's speed up a little bit and watch the next scanning passes. Well, there's just another problem that occurred during our measurement. If this message appears, please check all cable connections and make sure the electrodes have good contact to the ground. Most probably there's just a loose cable that needs to be plugged in correctly. Please tap on cancel to be able to repeat the whole process, including a new check. If you tap on continue anyway, the device starts measuring immediately, without testing again. So click on cancel check your cables and connections and repeat the scanning pass by pushing the continue button. Now let's watch the rest of the measurement.
After all scan points are measured completely, you will get a success message. Finally, the continue button has turned into a view button. Push the button to create the resulting image of your measurement.